Real quickly before we begin, as of you watching this, I'm probably streaming over on Twitch. Links in the description below if you guys want to stop by. Would love to chat with some of you guys. So hope to see you there. As it stands right now, we're two weeks out from season two as of tomorrow. We're drawing ever closer to it and what I'd imagine is the next major content drop for Modern Warfare since at this point, I'm not really expecting any maps within that time frame up until then. But with update 1.13 last week, there were a few items of interest that were publicly teased and as well, not publicly teased, such as data mined information that gives some hints as to maybe the next maps, modes, and among other things, potentially the fate of the entire big battle royale discussion that we've been having for months now. Naturally, we're going to be breaking down and discussing all that here in this video, because within the last 24 hours, a bit more information has come out, so we'll wrap it up here for you, but as we go along, let me know your thoughts below. What map would you like to see return for Season 2, and perhaps what weapon would you ideally like to see? Let me know your thoughts down below, and of course, if you're new to the channel, maybe considering the subscribe button as we're on that road to 300,000 subscribers, and we'll keep you up to date with all things Modern Warfare on a daily basis. But anyways, let's get into it. The newest information comes from The Gaming Revolution, who we've talked about here on the channel before, and for the most part, pending no real developmental snags that were unrelated to the actual information, he's gotten the overwhelming majority of his previous leaks right. So even if I had not seen some of this data dump for myself from a few individuals wishing to stay anonymous, I'd be inclined to at least hear those claims out a little further and give them a little bit more merit. But anyways, the first thing that we can talk about and discuss is something that was actually public information, something that was showcased right out front to everybody. That being the Ghost of Verdansk, or maybe just as you know him, Ghost as a new operator. Now, I don't wish to spend too much time here on this because we've talked about this for quite some time, but it was a part of this and was a forward to what we can also expect for season two. But the Ghost of Verdansk has been around in the game files since the very beginning of the launch of the game. There are shop assets that were found in the game files, actually, I think with the launch build of the game, and then we saw progression throughout those files over the weeks after that. But as of recently, shortly after the launch of season one, we saw that some of the television sets around various numbers of maps within Modern Warfare would have this static that was showcased on a loop, which was natural. That was there from the very beginning, but every so often you'd end up seeing that there was a little flicker of an image of what looked like the new variation of Ghost. Now, that was something that was there, and we thought maybe that was the preface to maybe a mid-season update. Turns out that wasn't the case, but it continued to get a couple of more things added in, and then as of update 1.13 last Wednesday, it actually became much larger, because right on display in the middle of Piccadilly Circus on the major LED billboards was, again, another flash of Ghost. So, further progressing those teases, but also making it look like he's the next operator we can expect. Probably one of two, if Season 1's introductions are anything of a pattern to follow in the future. But it seems like that, of course, is going to be looking like the Season 2 operator, or at least the premier operator, how Mara was with Season 1. But then we can start to dive into some of the code here, some of the stuff that was actually in the game files of Update 1.13. And for that, let's start out with some maps, because there's a couple of things that are interesting to me. We have, of course, a list that will rattle off here of things that we may end up seeing in the near future. Probably not all with Season 2, but some of them likely within season two, but the two ones that were added in and built up upon what we had already known from the data mined information of update 1.12 a month before this update that came last week, two things that were added in and compiled on top of that were now the new assets for Backlot 2 and Village 2. Two of the maps that are absolutely classic from COD 4 and then Modern Warfare 3 with their second variation here seemingly thrown in the mix. So seeming like in the near future, we may end up seeing Backlot or Village. Now, would I expect either of these for Season 2? Personally, I don't think so, but the telling part is that they're being worked on. They're being developed. There was no real sign of either of these maps within Update 1.12's data mined content, again, a month earlier than last week's update. So these are seemingly new assets. They're probably starting on the ground up here or in the very very early infancy stages of these maps, but they seem to be coming no less. And that's something that's really cool. I loved both those maps, Village in particular, so I'm all for that. But maps still in the game files that have seen more progress, that have seen more work done to them and have some more assets as a result, are maps denoted as Rust, Borderline, Takedown, Assault, Harbor, Offshore, Farida, Breakneck, and Emporium. Now, Rust we've seen since the very beginning of the game, and of course that launch build of the game. Farida was actually a map that was seen within the Modern Warfare trailers, 
but apparently, according to the Gaming Revolution source, it was a map that was meant to be released way earlier than, well, of course, now not even being released, but they're second-guessing some of the design intent here with it, seeing some of the backlash with, say, things pertaining to maybe mounting, to maybe doors. It doesn't necessarily specify, but they're readjusting and looking at this so that it can perhaps be perceived better upon release. So as for what maps actually come with it, your guess is good as mine. I still think that with the inclusion of things like TV station in the game files, that even being seen, at the very tail end of the season one intro cinematic. I think that that could be a map coming up and it fits that COD 4 theme and sequence that we've seen all throughout season one. We saw that Subbase was a map that was worked on as of recently in the game files and has been talked about. So maybe that comes, but maybe any one of these come also. But in terms of other maps outside of 6v6, the game code also looks to have seen some additional work done to the maps of Boneyard and Layover, likely referring to Boneyard from the previous Modern Warfare's campaigns and also perhaps including parts of Scrapyard from the Spec Ops mission. Layover may in fact be that airport from Spec Ops, so we'll see how those progress and maybe we get one of those with Season 2's launch. But one thing that was also interestingly data mined and pulled up was an image that showcases the connection of Port of Verdansk as well as Tavorsk District. If you look at them, you can end up seeing that they're both visible when you're playing on either one of those. But this image that was in the game files that is a brand new image showcases the link between the two, which could be a number of things. Firstly, it could be 50v50, which is something that has been rumored for quite some time. There was a map called Train Station that was showcased within the Call of Duty Companion app right after launch that a lot of people were thinking that was going to be the first introduction to 50v50. Maybe it's even 100v100. We saw that there was rumors and discussions of that, or perhaps it's something that points to Battle Royale. Now, Battle Royale in and of itself is something we've talked about here plenty of times on the channel. It's something that's absolutely massive, and without going super in-depth into all the leaks we've covered before, there is an absurd amount of game files and game assets specifically designated for Battle Royale already in the Modern Warfare application. It's not something that's just a tall tale and a lot of people being wishful thinking. There are actually things denoted in the game files, and a ton of them at that that specifically point to Battle Royale. So it's kind of that thing that if you've seen the game files, it's the worst kept secret in a sense where it hasn't ever been officially touched on by Infinity Ward, any subsidiary studio from Activision or Activision themselves or the Call of Duty brand, but pretty much everything for the base of the game is already there in the game files. But the interesting development here out of this is that the Gaming Revolution had a talk with his source about the fate of Battle Royale, to which they said it was delayed from the originally intended release period, which was up until this point thought to be the end of January. And naturally that makes sense because, well, we're at the end of January, there's only a few days left in January and we've heard nothing about it. But the source ended up saying that because of this, there's no official confirmation on when a release date could happen. It could be with season two, which would be insane because that's coming up really, really soon here. It could be with season three or the unfortunate part is that maybe it gets canceled entirely because if it gets held off too far afterwards and it gets too far into say the summer that would take away a lot of hype and a lot of different promotion for the next call of duty title being made now by treyarch so that while it would be a terrible thing to hear does make sense you don't want to drive sales away from what could be an ultimate money maker and of course if it is something where it's rumored to be free to play you definitely lose out on sales at that point so here's the hoping that that's not the case, but that was a little clarification to what we already had seen beforehand in relation to Battle Royale. So that's the interesting turn of events there, but we'll have to wait and see as more comes out with that. Afterwards, not pertaining to Battle Royale in particular, but talking a little bit more about game code and game files, a ton of Season 2 challenges were data mined, and to save you guys, they just full read off. That would take a lot of time. A lot of these challenges seem to be interesting. They're going a little bit more in depth in some areas, a little bit easier in some areas, but some of the officer challenges are basically what you'd expect. Easy, some hard, but some a little out there. One that I'm definitely going to have some fun with is one that tells you to get into the driver's seat of vehicles and crush your enemies, so I'm cool with that one. But this isn't something that also also is just coming from TGR. I've seen some of this stuff as well from some of my data mining connections. But talking about weapons real quick before we wrap things up, weapons and modes I want to touch on real quickly. We do know that that Chris Vector is in the game files and has been in progress for quite some time, though TGR makes a decent argument here that it may actually be the APC-45, which having seen that, having heard that alternate theory, it actually does make sense. It very much so looks like it. We know that there's a launcher in the game files. There's also rumored to be a new LMG based off of some strings in the game files. So maybe that comes as well. And recently, 
Fine. Other modes that were leaked were that of All or Nothing or One in the Chamber. These seemingly already being finished, their icons and everything being in game, the strings of data and assets going along with it also being in there. So those seemingly coming as well and may very well be two of the launch modes with season two now that we see things finally finished up with deathmatch domination coming tomorrow for modern warfare but everything else that we had seen in the game files up until this point having come already capture the flag was that last mode that we hadn't seen or had any confirmation on but that came as of this past week so those modes likely coming with the launch of season two but overall there was a bunch still to talk about and some stuff that was definitely newer and stuff that we hadn't seen before these game files in update 1.13 so i wanted to share them with you guys and maybe this is a decent look in as to what we get with season two so i'll ask you guys the same question here as when we started if you could bring back one map for season two what would you like it to be and of course if we could have one choice of weapon for season two what would you want to see in modern warfare but that's what we're gonna wrap it up hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to drop a like down below and of course if you are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things modern warfare updates news information tips tricks all that good stuff we got you covered here on the channel so if any of that interests you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing if you guys also want to follow me over on twitter and instagram those are the best places to get back outside of youtube practice live on both those if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be that link is down there in the description below that said thanks so much for watching my name is Mr. Resto. i'll see you guys later take care and peace